Hey guys, how you doing? I know you have questions on Zoom breakout rooms and you might be saying, I've never done it before, I've never seen it, I don't know how to proceed. So I'll show you how it works, but remember you could practice by yourself with a coworker, with a loved one, whatever you want. I'm just practicing alone here. All I have is Zoom on my computer and just the Zoom app on my phone. I just set up my little fake student over here and just named them fake student so I could just practice so we could wrap our head around this. So let's see, you're gonna push breakout room. It's right on the bottom right here. When you push breakout room, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this message, not this part right here. You'll see assign however many participants you have. I only have one participant. So if you had 30, it would just say assign 30 participants into blank amount of rooms. You know, how many breakout rooms do you want? It keeps your main Zoom meeting and then it has breakout rooms. So if I assign two rooms, I would have three rooms total, the two rooms and the room I started with. Then automatically means participants are automatically just randomly assigned by Zoom. That makes it easy for you. And manually assign, well, that's where you have to manually assign a student to a room. So that's the one we're gonna check out. But since I already have my rooms here, this is what's gonna pop up when you do it. This is just if you wanna recreate and start all over again. So I'll just recreate and start all over for you. Now I have one breakout room here. Now let's say I wanna call it something. I could just simply rename like ELD room, right? Then I could have that one. Maybe I wanna have another room. I'm like, oh no, I forgot about my Bluebirds reading group, right? Let's see here. So now we have two rooms. Now all you simply do is you push assign. But first, let's look at our options right here. Move all participants into breakout rooms automatically. As in, right when I assign them, they're kicked out into that room, right? As in, no effort. If you don't have that clicked, they'll have to push go to room on their screen, right? It'll either be like, stay in the room you're in or go to that room, right? allow participants to return at any time. So maybe you want them to be able to return to you, ask you a question and then go back or something, right? Now you could end breakout rooms automatically. So Bluebirds, your reading group is 30 minutes. Once that 30 minutes is up, you don't have to look at your watch. It'll just end it for them and they'll come back to the main session. You could even do a countdown closing. So instead of them just immediately getting booted out when it's time's up, you could give them a certain amount of time to say bye to your friends, to finish up what they were working on or talking about before they're kicked out to the main room. So I like this one where it gives them a little bit of time. So I'm gonna make them just go there automatically because when I say work, it's time to work, right? So let's assign my fake student to the ELD room. So I'm going to push assign. It's going to list all the students that are in there. Now remember, it could automatically assign them, but I'm going to assign manually. So I'll manually assign right now. And look, open rooms. When I open rooms, now my student who's in my meeting right now, look, all participants have been invited to join the breakout rooms. I look at my other screen, it's automatically going because that's what I asked for. And then all of a sudden, they're ready there in the other room. Now, it looks like, whoops. Yeah. Now it looks like, it froze up for a second. All right, now you see they're gone, right? Like you don't see them anymore, like participants. I don't have any participants left in here, right? So the reason for that is, oh, because they're in that breakout room, right? So check it out. When I push, if you had closed this down, when you just push breakout rooms, it'll show again. Oh, look, the student is in the ELD room. I could move them to the other room if I want to move them, but I don't want to move them. I just want to go check on them. So I'm going to go ahead and join myself, join ELD room. So now I'm going to go out of the main room and I'm going to go into that breakout room. Now I'm in the breakout room. When I push participants, you'll see, oh yeah, it's two of us in there, right? And then I'll say, why are you messing around? Why are you sideways? You guys are supposed to be doing work in here, right? So then I could leave room right here. I'm gonna leave my room. I could leave the meeting. Don't wanna do that. Don't wanna end the meeting. I just wanna leave my breakout room. Look, it returns it back to the main session. Again, I'm in here all by myself. So you could be in the main session while kids break off and they could always come back to you for help and things as needed. Now, when I click on the student screen over here, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I have the same option, leave, and then they could leave. I also have an option over here when I'm looking at it. 
I have asked for help. There's a little question that says, you can invite the host to this breakout room for assistance. So I'm gonna push invite host and then look automatically. Ooh, I could say later, I could join the breakout room. So that way, you know, they're not having to type in the chat or whatever, just, hey, Mr. Girl, don't come over here. Go ahead and help me right here, okay? So now I'll put my phone back here for my little fake student. Now let's go back to that breakout room one more time. Students still in that breakout room. Let's say you have all your breakout rooms set up. Let's broadcast a message to everyone. I'm going to come back to class. So then I'm going to go ahead and broadcast that message to everyone. So now they know, or maybe just tell them five minutes left. I look on the screen. Time to come back to class. So they all know. So let's say they did want to come back to class. I'm just going to push leave as a student, leave that breakout room. And then you're going to automatically see them show up and see now they're in my meeting here one more time. So breakout rooms, pretty easy. Not much to mess up on. You just go ahead and see. You could join a room, any room you want, broadcast that message, and everything is done. So go ahead, play around with it if you want. And kids will definitely have fun. See you guys later.